I do have a passion for the Labrador. They have the ability to steal your heart. It's hard to describe how a Labrador can get under your skin. I love the breed because they're such fun. They are a faithful companion. They just become part of you. The homework of the breed is their temperament. A Labrador never has a bad day. They're happy dogs. They are always happy to see you. You never come home to a crabby face. That sweet expression, it just melts you. I always say this, they never take your car keys, they don't ask for allowance, and they don't talk back to you. They just sit there and wait for your next command and they're willing to go do it. Labrador Retrievers come from Newfoundland. One of the main things they were designed to do was to bring in birds. Katrina! They're a retriever, so they're very big into retrieving. They're a lot of fun to play with. This dog can pick up a, a towel in a room and think that's a toy. They all have that retrieving instinct. They all want to pick things up and carry them around. <laughs> when I come home, he won't come and see me until he goes and retrieves something in his mouth, and then he's all wiggles. It's great, absolutely great. The Newfoundlands and the Labradors have that same history of going out in the water and as a job, dragging people and nets back to shore. They wanted to breed a smaller dog than the Newfoundland. One reason is to get in out of a boat. So they still are almost possessed with water. It's just a natural instinct for them. Give them a dish of water when they're puppies and it ends up on them. And we always say nothing's friendlier than a wet dog. What makes the Labrador so different is a special tail that they have. It's called an otter tail that they use as a rudder. If you watch a dog swim and they're coming through the water, they're using that tail. When they make a turn, you'll see that tail just give them a little bit of balance. The other neat feature that they have is web feet. When they swim, of course, they act like big paddles in the water. <laughs> The reason the Labrador stays so dry after swimming is because there's a inner coat that keeps them warm and then an outer coat that actually has special oils in it. There's a crust of ice on a pond. They break the ice, go in, retrieve the duck, and they're not cold at all because they have this thick undercoat. Because the coats are made up so much of protein, you have to look at the label on the food that you're feeding. Feeding proper nutrition is, is like feeding a human. If the quality isn't there, you're not going to get the results from it. You can't feed these dogs junk food and potato chips. I mean, it's like raising your kids on that stuff. It's not good for them. It's not only a professional dog breeder wants to be proud, but a pet owner wants to be proud. Yukonuba's idea of a breed-specific formula for Labradors is a wonderful thing. Different breeds of dogs require different amounts of protein, different amounts of fats. They're a big, fast-growing breed, and we have to be concerned that this rapid growth doesn't give us long-term problems. So you're going to give a dog food that contains glucosamine and chondroitin. In layman's terms, it's a joint lubricant. A Labrador tends to get overweight. They don't eat like a chihuahua. They're very eager eaters, but at the same time you have to watch their weight. You're looking at a dog food that is designed to keep them at the appropriate weight and yet fill them up so that they're not frustrated and crazy. The formula is made with a fat burner to help burn fat instead of storing it. It's just common sense. If you think of yourself, an athlete for instance, you wouldn't feed them full of sugars and carbs. This breed and this dog care mean everything to me. <laughs> yeah. Labs are probably the best all around family and sporting dog that I've encountered. She loves me especially much, and that's as important as me loving her. Duke is my everything every day. They're the passion of my life. I hate to say he's the love of my life, he's the dog of my life. Grady is all of that, let me tell you. He's a great dog.